Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. back to the channel I'm Hank Strange today we're talking about the new DPMS Panther arms and guess what they're getting into AKs so here's a question what's different about DPMS Panther arms and their AK it's actually called the Kremlin Gremlin let's get all up into it right now we're here with PJ Smith from DPMS Panther Arms. Yes. Right, the new. The new DPMS Panther yes. Arms. The new. What do you do at DPMS Panther Arms? Uh, well, as we described uh, earlier, I clean toilets, I make guns, I do <laughs> a little bit of all, all of it, man. One man shop right now, one man band. <laughs> right now, it's kind of one person. We do have an assembly line and right. things like that, but mm -hmm. as far as the marketing goes and behind the scenes, I'm, I'm the dude, I'm the Panther King, so. Absolutely. All right, so cool. So we're gonna get into a lot. We're gonna answer you guys' questions here about you know DPMS as well as what they're doing with AKs. We've got Babyface P joining us over here. There he goes. Oh. <laughs> DPMS has bought advertising space on my hat today. <laughs> right. Um, it was so like I have five, to five dollars. I had to make sure it was yeah. It was like half a half a box of ammunition Ammo. and we're set. Yes, and of course, <laughs> Walther is here. I can't. Follow you got that. the short change. You do have a. You got a, a regular hat on your hat. Yeah. So I, my bid was too high. <laughs> <laughs> The latch is a little too tight. There it goes. You hear an echo off the. Smoking, or it's starting to. Okay. <laughs> going up. Sure, I can do that. Is there a bag up there already? Or? I don't have any problem, Patrick. First of all, give us a little rundown of the new company and what you guys are trying to do. Okay. And, and specifically with AKs, which the old DPMS never did, right? Correct, yeah. AKs are new to the DPMS family. Uh, we call our line of AKs the Anvil. Kind of represents, you know, fortification, strong. Uh, we do use all forged parts, so that Anvil kind of plays on that. That are We got forged trunnions, mm -hmm. we have forged carriers, forged bolts. So this is something new to DPMS. They've never journeyed into this territory but what we're trying to do is really bring back the feel and the uh, passion and the uh, product that was out before it got bought and passed around a little bit so we're trying to our kind of our mantra is everyone's first AR is back and in this case it we're going with an AK so everyone's first AK is back okay I think there's got to be some differences we're talking about that right yes so is this part of the uh, production line of a company we're familiar with so we do share resources okay with uh -huh. Palmetto State Armory we're mm -hmm. all owned by JJ Capital so we do share some resources with them as, and it's actually helped us a lot be able to design and develop an AK because they've been there they've gone through the trials mm -hmm. so we could come to market with something that we know is going to be tough and reliable I mean why wouldn't we use those resources yeah. when we we have them available. Yeah, I think they're doing <laughs> awesome, amazing yeah. things with AKs. Yeah, powder with the flamethrower. I think, I vote yes. 
<laughs> that is an option. Okay. I brought that flare uh, to maybe hit it, just drop it in it. Uh, okay. Like, All right, here we go. Somebody else said, put some tracer. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh. I guarantee you it's hotter now. I got it on Amazon. Uh oh. I told you, it doesn't want to. Must be this mag. It might be that one particular Oh, there we go. Yeah, it must be that mag. Yes, that mag. There we go. The uh, it's not smoking no more. What's wrong? Water on it. Get some oil on it. <laughs> Hold on, Patrick's gonna do more. <laughs> This is an AK, so it should handle this. If my AK can't handle that, I don't, I don't want it. I don't want it. That's right. Send it back. Yep. That's the first time I've used that TDI grip. I like it. Oh, that's hot water. That is like. Yeah, it's sizzling now. Okay. You hear it? I can still hear it's it. It's still sizzling. <laughs> Ready? Ready. The water sizzling in underneath. There you go. There was a small flame. Was there? Yeah. Small <laughs> one. I'm ready. Okay. This is the more traditional AK-47 anvil that DPMS offers. It does have your folding trunnion in the back with your classic triangle folding stock. It's got the nice laminated, we call it the nutmeg wood furniture. This particular gun has had about 9,000 rounds put through it. This was one of the very first anvils we made. And we take this to all of our shows, all of our shoots, and we make sure it gets lots of use. It's still running wonderfully. You can see the charging handle has a little bit of wear and tear on it. But as far as functionality, it runs just as good as the first day that we took it out on the range. So it's been uh, it's been a real workhorse for us. Uh, how is this different? That would be my question. And okay. obviously, I know these guys have questions too. Yeah. So mainly the DPMS anvils are going to be different in their furniture options. Um, we're going to have, like for instance, on this one where PSA might have more Magpul focused furniture. We've decided to go with B5, the Bravo stock. Also, it has a TDI grip as well as a railed uh, lower hand guard. And that's something okay. that you can't get on the PSA side. Oh, okay. And then what specific markings do we have on there? I'm so on here, it will be stamped with serial numbers. So you okay. will have everything matching. Oh, anvil. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. From the dust cover, the carrier, the receiver. Oh. Um, and then underneath here, we'll have the DPMS Panther arm stamp okay. on the, uh, the rear of the receiver. Very cool. Mm -hmm. All right. And they are 100% U.S. parts and American made. Yes. So, I mean, obviously, I'll be rolling in footage here of us all shooting it. Impressions, guys? Questions? No, it ran fine. Ran, ran like an AK? I like the trigger. Is this like just a, a mil uh, no, there's, there's no There's such no thing. There's no such thing as mil <laughs> Yeah, there's no <laughs> such thing as Before all the AK guys, right? but is this just a regular AK trigger? or? Yeah, it's just your standard okay. single hook. Mm -hmm. um, down the road, we will have some other options. We're working with a company that's going to develop a higher end trigger for us. as just a different option. You know, some people, they just love that trigger. That works. There's nothing wrong with it. 
Okay. So we've had that where we did tests with that trigger, and that trigger system is different than the PSA trigger system. So we've okay. got different components on hmm. that. And that's how we are also on our AR side. We want to make sure we have a different fire control group because that's really going to give you the feel of the weapon in that fire control group. Okay, cool. Well, what are we looking at warranty-wise? So on the anvils, these are going to carry a lifetime warranty because DPMS has never made them before. On some other products where DPMS, you know, maybe made past product, we're going to take care of those customers. We're going to help them. But on the anvils, this is 100% our product. The anvils have a lifetime warranty on them. Oh, I see. So if anyone is looking at this and they're concerned with DPMS and they have the old stuff, you guys will help them out. But obviously, Correct. completely different company. Correct. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. But on your stuff, like the Anvil, for example, that's going to be lifetime. You can well, offer a bare bones version of this. Yeah. Yes, we will be looking at that. So you could choose your own stock option. We could. We're going to do it in a side folder as well as a fixed trunnion. Yeah. So that way you could pick if which direction you wanted to go in, and then we will offer furniture kits to kind of coincide with it as well, and okay. individual parts and pieces. Okay. Yep. What about different colors? Since this is the, we kind of nicknamed this the Kremlin Gremlin. Yes. That's what you guys are are doing yep is, are we going to get color options tiger or? stripe panther stripe <laughs> yeah we, exactly panther or spot. green nice red you know <laughs> yeah we've been Dark batting green. around different custom mm -hmm. options um so we're we will have those available soon where it's some of them might just have different furniture coloring and yeah. with the polymer it's really easy to do that and to yeah. make them blend right uh, but we will do some stuff in our uh, custom line that's going to have maybe like claw marks going yeah. down or different colors yeah. like we i would love to see a deep like a dark purple yeah. Which is really what that's that's what the panther is. It's oh not, yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's really like, like a, a dark, midnight. Purple. It's not black. Yeah, yeah it's like yeah. a real dark. Uh, yep. You know, uh, like I was telling you, I actually have a car like that that looks black. Yeah. But you know, when you in the right light, you realize it's purple. Mm -hmm. So, Patrick, what do you think, man? Thoughts? Uh, if you want, I'm gonna have my own video if you guys want to see it. Mm -hmm. But it to me, it seems like a ready to go AK mm -hmm. that has the upgrades that a lot of guys want. Uh, cheese grater and a, a adjustable stock, plus your rail's already on oh, the side, that is which really is cool. nice. Yes, uh, none of my AKs have rails on the sides because I've never wanted to rivet them in. This mm -hmm. is a nice touch. I, I like it. I, I, again, I'll have my own video, uh, but I, I definitely, yeah, it's nice. Uh, yeah. The, it, this one in particular was gassed very nicely. Mm -hmm. The brass had a perfect little pile over there. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, it had Steel. consistent ejection. Yeah. 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 Did, did, did you specially do anything with this to bring it out here, or did this just come off the line? What's this the, one was sorry. kind of a last minute decision. So okay. we were over at our serialized warehouse, and we mm -hmm. actually just told somebody, hey, go grab one of these off the shelf. Mm -hmm. We pulled it off, and it was still in the box. So this is legit what you, the consumer, would okay, get. Good perfect. Yeah, if we yeah. didn't grab that one, that would have been placed on an order right. and probably out so yeah sorry to whoever may have ordered one <laughs> yeah <laughs> so like if yeah especially you know we're doing this video and and pj is actually here so obviously we're not going to do a traditional thing that we would do if it was just me walter and patrick doing it because you know pj's in our house dpms is here but that's good to know that you guys just pulled it off because yep. we had zero issues with it oh, yeah so and we actually didn't even plan on really shooting it or not we mm -hmm. just grabbed it to kind of showcase and we're like hey let's shoot that Have gun fun. so yeah it, it ended up being i mean that's how we want it to be and i think we talked about that in the podcast is mm -hmm. we want our weapons to come out the box and you don't have to do too many mods to it. It's right. just ready to go. It's gonna have some of those features and options you would add anyways. Mm -hmm. But what people don't understand is, hey, all that furniture you're placing, you paid for that original furniture. It was, based, it was yeah, built into the cost. <laughs> you might as well get this. Yes. Exactly. Get it the way you want and it. This is not a discount stock or anything on the no, back. No, no. It's not like, no. you know. So no, it's a nice setup. Yep. I think mm -hmm. it's a cool setup uh, out of the box, right? Kind of like, very much in the vein of what everyone's doing nowadays. I agree with Patrick. This is really cool to have the side mount. Yeah. Because there's guys out there. Um, who who is it that, that we typically go to for those uh, side mounts? RS Regulate makes a good yes, one. Yes. RS Regulate. And, um, uh, Midwest, I think, is Midwest making a new one. It, yeah. And uh, the guy that I love his side rail, AK Master Mount, has one as well, and his yep. is okay. good too. Yeah. What questions do? Because you guys are my AK consultant. Mm. <laughs> the main thing people, what do people want to know. Mm -hmm. Forged. All forged. Yeah. Okay. So that's. Covered. Right out of the box. Mm -hmm. Chrome line barrel? Yes. Chrome line yeah. barrel? Out of the box. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Stamped yeah. receiver? Stamped receiver? Stamped receiver. Yep. Okay. Right, right. What price point are we in here? <laughs> so for this particular model, you're yeah. looking at an MSRP. I think is around 950. Okay. But again, the DPMS line is going to be available through your local retail dealer, so they will have a map price, so they can kind of price it how they would like to. But so 
Okay. That, that's kind of why so we So that could sure. go up or down. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> but that is a cool point, though, I think yeah. that we should make. So typically, we were talking about PSA. You've got to get stuff from them. There might be some difficulties there because everyone's getting ahead of you. Yep. The beauty with this is you could go pick it up at your local gun store. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Correct. Yeah. It'll be sitting on the shelf waiting for yes. you. Yep. And that's who we're really focusing on with the DPMS line is mm -hmm. keeping that local gun shop in business because at the end of the day, if they're not in business, the big boys can't really do too much either because they got to have some place to send the gun to. Right. So, exactly. um, just like our sister company, PSA, if that pawn shop in your town goes out of business, they don't have anywhere to send that gun to if you order online. Yeah. Yeah. So this is helping keep those people in business and uh, yeah. help them out yeah. as well. Yeah, a lot of folks out there like to actually shop local at a uh, FFL. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Walt? We do a lot of transfers, too. So oh. <laughs> uh, There you yeah. go. We don't have a retail location, yeah. but a lot of people buy online and a lot of stuff from PSA, too. And um, come pick it up with us, do the paperwork and all that. So. Absolutely. So what's, from your point of view as an AK guy... What's, what's your th uh, thoughts on this? Oh, I'm more of a traditional AK kind of guy. I'm not a real big fan of the M4 mm -hmm. style stock, but that's mm -hmm. just me. Yeah. You know, I mean, it looks really good and it's clean. The finish is really nice. It's got a really consistent yeah. finish throughout. Yeah. Nice rivets, nice rivets. That's, okay. uh, that's the thing I'm going to talk about when stuff. I do a video yes. is um, yeah. the fit and finish. For These sure. Magpul yeah. Mags fit really snug, which is not a bad thing. Yeah, zero wiggle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, none at all. So let's get a little bit of this side over here. Yeah, so yeah, that's cool. Finger toggable toggleable safety which is nice this is to me i've if you even if you go with a bare bones ak with wood furniture this is almost a must to me at this point having the the finger lever i really oh, okay. like it yeah i'm old school i never had that, i so. i really like yeah. the finger lever mm -hmm. yeah i think it's a it's a little mo bit modernized for what you know some folks would there's do a, not the there's, traditionalist there's a huge group of people who like this modern yeah. they oh, can yeah, yeah, yeah. and I, I don't I'm not gonna poop well because you could get everything you could put a sling on here easily right? this is ready to you could to put me, a this light is, you this is optic quote unquote modernized and yeah. kind of out of the box ready to take and have some fun yeah, yeah. still got the bayonet, 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 bayonet right bayonet so I think Patrick you were asking about cleaning rod yeah Did so you? no cleaning rod is what we've been told no because uh, I mean really how often are you gonna clean how be honest to me I cannot think of maybe one time I've ever used an AK because you get a I've never, cartridge or something. Right. To me, out, to me it's that's what, a, a, clean, AK cleaning rods are purely an aesthetic thing. That's so the here, only reason I like them. Here's what I would say, right? <laughs> you guys know I'm not a traditionalist, but a long time ago I did a torture test with AK versus AR and a bullpup. Mm -hmm. And the AK failed almost immediately because we were putting it in water and all that. And the shell casing got stuck in there and there was no cleaning rod, so no way to get that out. Get out yeah. <laughs> yeah. How do you do you'll, that if you don't have a cleaning you'll rod? You'll probably have some people complaining. Right. But to those that are complaining, you can probably get a can get cleaning one. rod yeah. on the side. And for, we will have a DPMS yeah. cleaning rod. Okay. Get my AR-15 cleaning rod. They're not, not, <laughs> they're not that expensive. You need so. something that could go down there and knock right, it out right, or right. whatever. I've but happen, personally, yeah. if I were going to a store and buying this, I would also be buying an AK, uh, cleaning rod on the side. That's just me. I like. I have never used an AK cleaning rod, but I like really? the aesthetics. I, have, I, have, I like yeah. the aesthetics of it. But that's it. This they're, model, they're not hard to get. This model just got released this past week, so it's mm -hmm. it's hot off the press. Mm -hmm. All of our other models that we have have the more classic look with the classic fixed stock furniture mm -hmm. or a folding triangle. Mm -hmm. Everything else we had was in that classic vein of AKs. I brought the wood grain yeah. uh, one with the triangle folder as well. Yeah. This one was something we were just trying to do to kind of go out of the yeah. box a little bit, and it it does. It's just to this a particular person. guy. Do, do, yeah. I mean, it, you look you look at. Uh, what Russia is doing with the AK-12, and they're basically going in this same concept. Yeah. Right? Foldings are uh, uh, colla collapsible stock, polymer handguard. They don't use a cheese grater, but the cheese grater looks cool as hell. I, it yeah. does. <laughs> I really like it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I get it. I totally get it. It's functional too, yeah. by the way. But That's good. <laughs> no, I mean, no, to uh, pull it, for your potatoes. Oh, okay. Put your Parmesan yeah. on top. Listen, Makes good I, yeah. I am not a traditionalist, <laughs> and I like the vegetables. idea. I like where you're going with Flair. the whole, with the whole Panther thing. Yeah. And make, I like the idea of even getting like a wood version that's a dark purple and, and it's got the crazy, yeah. you know, yeah. really gauche People kind of stuff in there. I love that, man. Cool. Do a dictator version of this that's That'd all gold. The yeah. dictator gun. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it would be amazing. amazing. So, yeah. <laughs> that's a nice thing about um, having a, you know, a little bit smaller operation to controls. You can pull mm -hmm. those levers and if somebody gives us a good idea, we're going to run with it. This one was actually an idea we got uh, from somebody that messaged me on Instagram. It was like, hey, 
we want a more modern configuration. Mm -hmm. So we went out and put something together and I was like, Hey, what do you think? And he, mm -hmm. that person was like, man, I kind of helped design that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's exactly. kind of cool that we're listening to people mm -hmm. when they message us, we're trying to give them what they want. And you know, we're, we're excited to be in the AK arena and we've established ourselves pretty quickly. So we're excited. Yeah, absolutely. Us too. So I'm going to wrap it up now. Make sure you check out what Babyface is going to do. He's doing You'll a lot, see of, one come up. lot of really cool AK stuff when he's not getting banned from YouTube. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you guys can check out over there. Of course, make sure you check out Safety Harbor Firearms. I might well. do something with this too, but it'll yeah. be short. It'll be short. Check <laughs> yeah. out my what do you want the folks to know before we go out of here? How can they like contact you guys, find you yeah. on social media? I know some of that stuff has changed and it's not it exactly has. the same. So what is it? Yep. So on Instagram, you're going to go to DPMS underscore INC. So DPMS Inc. Um, you can also reach me directly at Panther underscore King underscore actual on Instagram, uh, <laughs> on Facebook. You would have a good time. <laughs> yeah. Or you can actually, my, I do have an email address that is PantherKing at DPMSA.com. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You um, should get some stickers to put in bathroom stalls that says for a good time called Panther King. <laughs> <laughs> and on Facebook, we just have the, uh, we took over the original DPMS Facebook oh, cool. uh, page there. So those are the main ways to reach out to us or see what we got coming out. Awesome. Thanks so much, yeah, man. man. If you guys want to know more, we did a podcast with myself, Walter, and PJ. So go check that out and we're going to do some more videos. Cool. We're out of here. See ya. Make sure to check out hamstrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.